for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 8 story diagrid building structure by using etap software so in my previous videos i was explaining some of the concepts which is related to the floating column and structures okay you can watch that video by using abo cot link in this video i will explain you how to design a diagrid building structure by using etap software so firstly i will show you the model so click on the etap software here so now we can see the model was opening in my etap software so firstly i will show you the properties and some of the specifications which are considered for this diagram structure now you can see this is the diagram structure so for this building i was taken the length of the building is approximately 15 meter and width of the building is approximately 15 meter okay this respected building will be comes under your g plus 10 building structural model okay so click on okay option so again after that i will show you the properties which is related to the grade of the concrete and grade of the steel so for that click on define option here on the top click on the material property for this building i was taken m30 grade concrete provision and hysd bars of 500 grade steel again in the same process i was taken the frame section thickness which is consisting of the beam size is 0.45 cross 0.23 and column size is 0.6 cross 0.23 and the diagram structure will be consisting of your respected 0.35 cross 0.35 section here okay so for this respected section i was taken the properties which is comes under the beam section properties only okay click on cancel option so for this building i was taken the load cases which is consisting of dead load live load seismic load as well as the wind load condition system okay so firstly i will do the analysis process so go to analyze option set load cases to run option here click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process for this respected building structure with the considerations of the all the properties for the diagram structure now you can see here this is the deflection diagram which is comes under the diagram structure with the considerations of the specifications okay so in order to see the shear force diagram click on the display option forces select the frame spandrel of force select any one of the force just i'm selecting shear to toe option click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structure again in the same process i'm selecting bending moment diagram click on okay option so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the building structure in the same process i'm selecting torsion option click on apply option so that it will display the torsion diagram for the building structure here like this okay due to the presence of the diagrid building structure the torsion will be consisting of the property here like this so after that i will show you the 3d rendering view for the respected diagrid structure so click on the 3d option here so again we have to click on the right mark option on the top so here i am selecting extrude frames option extrude shell option click on apply option so that it will apply the shells and extrusion process for the respected consideration okay so now we can see this is the diagrid building just i will rotate the model with 3d rotate option so now we can see this is the diagrid structural building model which will be not consisting of any kind of the external columns for the building structure so it will resist only the on the uh, beams which is provided for the respected building structure throughout the structure okay it will be consisting of all the uh, crossing beams on the uh, corner of the building structure here like this okay this is the diagrid building structure which is of g plus 10 building structural model so after analysis process completed we need to design this structure so for that firstly we have to unlock the model in order to adding the uh, grid sections for the respective slab section okay for simple understanding just i will add only the two types of the uh, grid section for the slab so here i am selecting edit and grid strip click on add option select the story number 10 which is of x direction with a click on apply option so that it will apply the 20th story x layer for the respected grid section in the same process i will apply the strip layer will be of y which is of b click on apply option so that it will apply the grid sections in the y direction condition system in the same process i will apply the property which is comes under the fifth story so here i am selecting story number 5 which is of x direction with a click on apply option so after that in the same process uh, we will apply the st uh, story number uh, 5 which is of direction will be of y and grid layer will be of b click on apply option so that it will apply the property for the respected fifth section okay so after that we have to do the analysis process again for the respected building structure now we have to go to the analyze option on the top again again click on set load cases to run option again click on the run now option again again it will do the analysis process with the help of the uh, grid section consideration for the 10th slab as well as the 5th slab now you can see it will show you the deflection diagram here like this for the respected building structure now we have to design the building go to click on design option concrete frame design 
view revisor preferences select is for codal provision of 456 2000 from this properties click on ok again in the same process we have to click on design click on concrete frame design so firstly we have to click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected uh, beam sections column sections as well as the uh, diagrid member section for the building structure here like this now you can see the red color mark is moving for the respected considerations of the beams and columns as well as the diagrid members so now you can see it is showing the designing results here like this so after designing the beam sections column section we need to design a slab go to click on the design option here select the concrete slab design view revised preferences select is 456 2000 click on ok option again in the same process we have to click on the slab designing section select the story option this time selecting the story number 10 as well as the story number 5 click on ok option then after that again in the same process we have to click on the start designing check for the respected two stories which is comes under the 10th story as well as the fifth story for the respected building structure with the considerations of the diagrid members now you can see it will show you the slab strip design results for the respected considerations of the 10th slab as well as the fifth slab so now we have to save this particular model by using ctrl s option so now i was saved the model just i am closing this etap software so now we have to open the detailing version software csi detailing version 18th version software so here i am opening my uh, detailing version in order to do the detailing process complete detailing process by using etap software just i am opening here click on the file option here click on new detailing option select the desktop which is consisting of your respected model diagrid this time selecting here so initially the model will be open in etap software then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version software now we can see all the data is imported to csi detailing version so firstly we have to click on the detailing units option firstly we have to select the units this time selecting rebar units will be in si system and select the force will be in kilonewton system and rebar will be in millimeter and select the rebar weight will be in turn click on ok option select the preferences here as per the is 446 2000 codal provision select the concrete rebar rules option here ok here i am selecting the minimum spacing value will be of 120 and maximum spacing will be of 450 again i am selecting the beam minimum spacing value will be of 120 option again this is the 120 option this is the 120 option and this particular value will be of 450 option again this is the 450 value this is the 450 value select the column this time selecting the value will be of 120 option again i am selecting this particular value will be of 450 option here click on ok option with the same process we have to click on ok option for the designing process so that it will do the designing process for the respected beam sections column sections as well as the slab section with the help of the diagrid member structures okay now you can see this is the slab designing results which is of 10th floor so it will be consisting of rebar plan option for the respected consideration this is the top rebar plan for the respected consideration bottom rebar plan this is the all rebar plan for the building so again we have to click on the rebar cage view option so that it will load the all the rebars which is included on that particular top reinforcement section as well as the bottom reinforcement section for the 10th slab section okay so now we can see this is the complete slab design, design results for the diagrid structure in the same process you can select the fifth slab designing results this time selecting the beam designing details option here elevation section so this time selecting 10th level so double click on this particular a section now we can see for this respected beam which is consisting of 460 cross 230 mm it will be consisting of four bars of uh, 14 mm diameter at the top and two bars of 14 mm diameter at the bottom okay again it will be consisting of 10 mm bar diameter bar stirrups which is of 106 mm center to center distance this is the b section this is the c section d section e section directly i am selecting reinforcement kg option so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results kg for the slab section sorry beam section in the same process you can select the uh, column detailing option just i am selecting here elevation section just i am selecting one column just i am selecting here now you can see this is the column design results for the diagrid members which is consisting of 230 cross 600 mm dimensions this is the b section just i am selecting directly rebar kg option so that it will load the complete reinforcement design results which is included on that particular uh, diagrid structural member okay this is the complete process of uh, designing of diagrid building structural model by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you